All right, the pools are now officially open, but a shortage of lifeguards could impact hours and capacity. Yeah, WMAR 2 News, Ashley McDowell spoke with Baltimore City Rec and Parks about how they plan to hire more lifeguards. Pools in Baltimore City are gearing up to open for the summer, but the capacity may be limited if there's a shortage of lifeguards. Chief of Aquatics Nikki Cobbs says they have 95 lifeguards ready to work. But with the need of 130 for all the pools in the city, they sometimes have to call on other staff to fill in. We have other staff that have the lifeguard certificate. Our pool operators, we have to use, utilize them as lifeguards and also our pool managers. 23 indoor and outdoor pools span the city of Baltimore that serve 27,000 swimmers annually. She says the goal is to keep the pools open, even on short staff. We try our best not to close pools. That's why we went to the lifeguard swimmer ratio. So even if we only had one lifeguard at a pool, we could at least let 35 people in. Cobbs says a couple factors play into the lifeguard shortage, but it mainly goes back to COVID. Since COVID, a lot of people don't want to work. And it's hard getting people to actually want to come and lifeguard and it's a hard job. To alleviate some of the shortage, Cobbs says they will train anyone 15 years or older to become a lifeguard for free, as long as they sign a contract to work with the city for one summer. And there's potential for a bonus. At the end of the swim season, if you have no more than three unexcused absences and no disciplinary situations, we give a $500 bonuses to all of our lifeguards. Lifeguards play an important role and Cobbs sends a friendly reminder to put safety first. You should never swim without a lifeguard because if you don't know how to swim, that could end very deadly. So I ask, please, no one swim after hours when the pools are closed. The city pools are currently open only on the weekends and are scheduled to open seven days beginning June 15th. For a link to the free lifeguard course, head to WMAR2news.com. In Baltimore, Ashley McDowell, WMAR2news.